What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. Today, I'm sitting in a brand new 2022, well-built 1756. This thing has a 70 horsepower Yamaha outboard motor on it, a little side console, and it's got an open floor plan. It's a pretty sweet boat, nice rig, perfect for the river, catfishing, whatever. Anyways, this guy, he decided he wanted to put pods on this boat. He bought some beaver tail pods and instead of welding them, he thought it would be a good idea to bolt them on. He wasn't happy with the performance, they're shaking around. I don't know if they were leaking, but he purchased some new pods from Wellbuilt and we're gonna be welding them on. Let's get back to work. All right, so you can see what we got here. He's got eight three-eighths holes on both sides of the hole. Um, I just don't know why you would buy a brand new welded boat and then go put holes in it. But to each his own. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take these new pods right here, I'm gonna clean them up, I'm gonna clean this area up right here, I'm gonna weld all these holes first. These holes are a good size, so I wanna make sure we get a weld over those before we put the pod on. After we get them cleaned up and grind down, then we'll come back, and get these pods ready, set them up here and tack them. Let's get back to work. I got the tires chalk. So I'm just going to grab it from the handle on the other side. Pull it back about four or five inches past that because I got a low that right there. I don't want to melt that thing. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right guys, so this was a little bit of work. Um, it's a pain in the butt, because I always put these things in with a lot of glue and stuff. It's, it's a little hard to clean out. It's gotta be real clean to weld the aluminum. But we got the job done, and now I'm going to move on to cleaning up the area to install the new pods. All right, so these pods are actually made by Wellbuilt, the same manufacturer of the boat. They came directly from the factory. They already have been painted um, on all sides except for the side that I'm gonna be welding on. Thankfully, they didn't paint that one. And they actually put a masking tape on here. And hopefully this isn't gonna be too hard to take off, but it should help because it'll leave me a little area to weld. So I want to do so much cleanup on these things. So this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and finish pulling this tape off of here.
All right, guys, so I got both of these pods tacked up here, and I will say that it's gonna be a pain in the ass to weld. Um, the back of this transom, it warps a little bit from the welds from the factory, and I've got some pretty good gaps in here. And there's a decent sized gap right here. I'm gonna try to pull some of that out if I can, but you know, I can only do so much. They are pretty flush across the top, and really they look even better across the bottom with a straight edge. I figured it's probably better to have the bottom where it's going to be causing drag and they'll be flush to ride on top of the water. So I'm going to get this thing welded up so it'll take me a while. I'm going to put you guys back on the time lapse. Let's get back to work. All right, so I got the pods installed. Uh, it was not easy job. There's some gaps in there. The back of the transom, I guess it just warped when they welded it from the factory. It had some decent sized spaces and gaps to fill, but I got it taken care of. They look pretty cool on there. They're pretty big. Um, I think it's gonna make a pretty dramatic difference when this thing's actually in the water. But I have one last thing to put on here. It's this little angle that sits right up here and it's basically just like a splash guard. I'm not even sure if he needs it, but I did talk to Wellbuilt this morning. I called him up just to ask him about the angle and the pods because I've never put on a set of Wellbuilt pods. And it was pretty cool because I actually called Arkansas where their main supplier is based out of. And the guy that picked up the phone, I think his name was uh, Jason or Justin. Either way, I started telling him who I was and he's seen the channel and he's seen Neptune and Neptune is the most badass John boat well built ever built that's my opinion i think he agrees with me though i'm gonna get these couple little angles on here give you all the once over and get back to work all right guys it's a wrap i got these pods on here the welds look good got these little angles to help with the backsplash of the water inside of here um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, this boat is pretty sick. I've got a couple of other bills that I'm gonna be working on and some videos I'm gonna be dropping in the next week or so. So you guys make sure you check those out. I'm actually cleaning up this area right here. It's part of my shop. I've been working out here for a while. I had a lot of people comment about needing to clean up my work area. You were 100% right. It's not quite where I want it to be yet, but uh, I did get some painting done and I'm building some new tables, storage racks. I got some more signs and flags I'm gonna be putting up with some banners. So, everybody always asks me, does my boat need pods? I don't know if your boat needs pods. Do you hunt a lot? Do you go in shallow water? Do you have a tunnel hull? Do you got a mud motor? Those are questions you need to ask yourself. It's mainly gonna be about where you take your boat and what you do with your boat. If you do a lot of duck hunting and you're in the shallows, you might need pods. If you got a really heavy motor, you might need pods. Personally, I don't need pods on any of my boats, not what I do with them. But if you're gonna put pods on your boat, please call a professional and get them welded on. Do not do all this bolting junk. There's only one way to install pods and that's the right way. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. I gotta get back to work.